Hey guys, for this video I'm going to teach you how to make a plaid mask, which is basically the same as making a regular mask, but I see that you guys have been wanting to know how to make a plaid one, so I thought I'd make this video for you and I'm going to show you step by step on how to make it, so let's just get right into the video. The materials you're going to need for this project are pins, scissors, rubber band, or even hair elastic, and something to write with. So the first thing I did was look up face mask patterns and I scrolled down and found one that matched what I wanted it to look like. So I went to the page and scrolled down and they show you the face mask pattern. You can either print this out but for me I don't have a printer so I just traced it onto a piece of paper and I'm going to use that. So in total you need four of the pattern you just cut out in fabric and to make it super simple just fold your fabric three times then put your mask over it. You can either pin it or trace it on and then just cut it out. So then you're going to pair each mask together, put them together and fold just the curve of the mask and you're going to want to sew this together. So this is what it looks like sewn together. I just did a half an inch all the way across. So then next I'm going to iron my mask using my Totoro stuffed animal and I'm doing this because the mask is curved so I need something curved in order to iron the seams open. It's important to do this because they're more close together so it's not just bulky. So this is what the mask should look like with the open seam. So now you want to pin the mask together. In order to do this, you want to have the wrong sides on the outside and the correct sides on the inside, which sounds confusing, but basically you want your seams to be showing right now and you're going to pin from the center where there's the stitching line and pin outward on both sides and you're going to pin just the other bottom and keep the sides open. And this is what it should look like all sewn together with the seams out. You can see I just sewed the top and the bottom and the sides are open and I'm going to put the fabric through so you're on the correct side of the mask. And we're going to iron it again. But this time without the Totoro stuff animal. And what you're going to do is I ironed my seams right along the edge. This allows it to be less puffy because you don't want a puffy mask on your face. You want it to be very thin. So you're going to iron all of your seams you just sewed. Next, I'm sewing the rubber band in, but instead I use hair elastics because it's a lot easier. And all I do is cut the hair elastic in half. Then I take the raw edges of the mask, fold it inwards, and pin it so it's equal. Then I take the end of the rubber band or the end of the hair elastic and I stick it about a half inch in. And I pin it in to secure that it's in place. I do this to all four sides. So this is what it looks like all pinned in together and getting ready to be sewn. So this is what it looks like all sewn together completely done. I sewed very close to the edge and I also did zigzag stitches along where the elastic is to be sure that it doesn't come out. So this is the final design guys. This is what it should look like in the end and if you have a hard time making it and you want this kind of mask, I'm actually selling mine on my Etsy account. I'll put the link down below so don't forget to check it out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and if I help you, hit that notification bell to find out when I post more DIYs, fashions, or upcycling.